Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Stephen Duffy with Stephen Duffy Real Estate and JK Realty, and I've got episode number 16 of 100 Questions in 100 Days. So what I want to talk to you today about is, uh, should I ever waive the appraisal or waive the inspection when I'm purchasing a home? And my quick answer to that is going to be no, but here's why. So let's first talk about the appraisal. So what the appraisal is, is basically the mortgage company sending out an unbiased uh, person to value the home. Uh, what they're going to be doing is basically determining what the market value of the home is so that the mortgage company use, can use your home as collateral on the mortgage. Now with that being said, a lot of times what's going on in today's world, uh, we're seeing bidding wars, we're seeing multiple offers, we're seeing home prices go for thousands and thousands of dollars above what the uh, list price of the home is. And what that's called is the appraisal gap. So what's happening in that situation is the sellers are requiring the buyers to make up that gap. In different types of markets, it's actually can be split or it could be all made up on either side, just depending on what type of market we're in. But right now we're in a seller's market. Sellers hold all the leverage and sellers are going to make buyers make up that difference uh, to what they offered. Now, say you've gone ahead and you've waived that appraisal contingency. Because in the Arizona contract, there is a contingency stating uh, if the appraisal comes back low, that the contract can be voided at that point and earnest money, earnest money is returned. So if you go ahead and waive that protection, let's just say, for example, it comes up $50,000 low on inspection, or not inspection, low on appraisal, you would be responsible contractually to make up that $50,000 or be penalized by losing your earnest money. Now, the other side to this coin is people are choosing to also waive home inspections. Once again, would never recommend doing this, but like the appraisal, the inspection is important because it gives an impartial valuation of the home and its condition. Um, what it's looking at is the con actual condition of the home um, in that you may discover major defects that may not be visible during your walkthroughs. Um, it's going to have somebody that's basically going to give your home a full physical. They're going to go through, check electrical outlets, check wiring, check structure, check uh, the roof, air conditioning condition. Uh, they may re rec make a recommendation to have a specialist come out if they see something that's out of ordinary, um, say with like the pool or air conditioning or something along that nature. Now, the reason that you don't want to waive that inspection is you want to be able to protect your investment too. You don't want to have something break one or two years down the line that there was telltale signs of when you purchased the home and because you waived the inspection and didn't have somebody take a look at it before you purchased it now you're out having to make those thousands of dollars worth of repairs so what it boils down to is basically protection uh, you want to be able to protect yourself now you can negotiate like I said a few different things with that if you want to negotiate uh, a limit to how much you're willing to make up in the appraisal that's definitely okay and if you're willing to say hey I'm not gonna make any repairs but I want to at least check do a basic inspection on the home basically at that point you're saying I'm gonna either take it or leave it at that point uh, during the inspection process so uh, everything is there for your protection if somebody's telling you to waive those and they're really pushing for that um, I would question where they're at or what are they hiding um, especially if it's the seller pushing for that so with that being said, I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or if you have a horror story about either one of these, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.